With a title like Satan's Cheerleaders, how can you not be intrigued? Plenty of 70s exploitation films dealt with both rambunctious cheerleaders and devil-worshipping cults, so it was only a matter of time that the two merged into one. So, does the film live up to its title? Well, let's find out together. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. The film opens on the beach with the cheerleaders cheering and their cheer coach watching on. This is to show how goofy the characters are, especially the cheer coach. Football players, the football coach and the rival school's cheerleaders and football players also appear on the beach, but this is all comedic filler. It doesn't really add to the satanic portions of the film. You know, the parts that I actually care about. There's this weird janitor at the school with this rhinestone coated jacket. Looks like someone had a bedazzler. Don't be dull, be dazzling. Dazzle with a bedazzler, the kit that can change your wardrobe from dull to daring. He's a total creep and he spies on the girls when they're in the lockers. Oh, and if that wasn't bad enough, he also worships the devil. You like that phrase that he uses? Adi precus meus satana, blessed be. Adi precus meus satana, blessed be. Well, get ready to hear it about a hundred more times. Adi precus meus satana, blessed be. Adi precus meus satana, blessed be. Adi precus meus satana, blessed be. The girls get ready for the big football game, and in case you forgot their names, it's conveniently written on their shirts. The janitor, using his satanic powers, makes the cheerleaders crash their car. The janitor picks up the girls, and he wants to give them what they have coming to them. Now stop this car instantly, please. This here is not a car. It's a pickup. And I just picked me up some cheerleaders going to get what's coming to them. He almost crashes his pickup, and he takes them to a demon altar. The blonde girl goes under some sort of trance and begins to strip. Then the janitor dies. <laughs> At least they think he's dead. They didn't check his pulse or anything, they just claim he's dead. It looks like they learned how to check for signs of life from the teenagers of I Know What You Did Last Summer. Well, they have to get to the game, so they leave the janitor's dead body and get back in the pickup. Along the way, they ask for directions from a bum on the side of the road, and hey, that's John Carradine. Cool. They eventually find a police officer at his house. They decide to stay with the police officer's wife as the cop checks out their story. Well, the janitor isn't dead, but that's not the twist. Here's the twist. The cop also worships the devil. Basically, the whole town worships the devil. They want to gather the girls and sacrifice them to Satan. Cool. Well, the girls catch wind of this and they try to escape. The cop catches the coach and it's implied that he has his way with her and then he rapes her. Not cool. The blonde girl who got naked on the altar and went into a trance is sort of possessed by the devil. Maybe. I don't actually know. I kind of tuned it out, but something is definitely messed up with her. Once they wrangle up all the girls, they have to decide which one of the girls is the virgin from the prophecy. Well, after ruling out all the cheerleaders, the blonde girl who is now possessed by Satan is mad at the cop because the only virgin among the girls was the teacher. But he had sex with her, ruining the whole thing. Talk about a twist. Now, if it's not clear, Satan's Cheerleaders is a comedy horror film. It's funnier than The Omen, but scarier than silent movie. At times, the jokes are amusing, but it's not a laugh out loud kind of film. It's also not very scary. You think with a title like Satan's Cheerleaders, this would have been exploitation gold, but unfortunately, it's rather tame. Geronimo! There is a shower scene, but that's it for nudity. There isn't any gore, and Satan doesn't appear either. I was hoping for a dude in red spandex and a pitchfork to pop in, but no. Satan's cheerleaders could be fun with the right crowd, but the film stops being funny around halfway through and it never gets spooky. I, I, I don't understand. Ouch! The, the door, I mean, you know, like, Look at 
it just didn't do it for me, but the potential was there. VCI Entertainment released this really cool Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, so if it looks interesting, check it out. It's also on YouTube, so maybe don't waste your money. Watch it for free. Anyway, that's all I have for tonight, so as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and take care, everyone.